Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the Lumion and Revit. This is a small tutorial how to create some impressive effects, for example, for your building. We will talk about the rotation, uh, something dynamic scene in your Lumion, how you can, for example, get the Revit mod model. Here is the my Revit model. How you should export it and uh, how to get this result in Lumion. That's what we will talk about today. And we will start, of course, from the Revit. Here is the my building. You should create your own building. Doesn't matter which building you will create, or you can download this building. You will find the below the video. Okay, so what the matter? What we should have the uh, in our building? Here, as you can see, I have the group. Uh, I created the group. This is a similar group. If I will change something here, it will be changing. It, it will immediately will change here. Uh, why did the group? Because uh, in uh, when you will export everything to the to the Lumion, you should separate your model and you should separate uh, your rotation part. So our rotation part is building, and uh, as you can see, this is two different model. So that's this the point. But in Revit, we cannot just simply separate it because, uh, for example, right now I want to place here the some furniture or I will, I will place here the some doors or something else. And as you understand, all the time creating different uh, models, uh, it's really terrible. Okay, you did the group. For example, this one will be static one, this one not. But these two models should be came to the Revit, uh, to the uh, Lumion like a different model. So what we're gonna do, just hide it. So as you can see, not any model here right now. And uh, let me I will create the new scene in Lumion because I want to show you how it's work how it's working. I will create the new scene. So here we are. We are in the new scene as you can see. And the really matter thing for us this gimbal. As you can see, our gimbal is here. Why it's matter? Let's go back to the Revit. I will show you by reveal height, and you will find here the gimbal tool. This is really a matter for us uh, when we will manipulate these two these groups. So what we're gonna do right now? Uh, we need some point where we will connect all our buildings. So uh, let me go back to the my reveal. Uh, I hide the temporary my two groups as you can see, and let's we will export our model. As you can see, I'm not using the live sync for this type of the model. I will use the export by just by geometry, and let's export it. And let's save it. Okay, now let's go back to the Lumen. Here we are in Lumen. Let's import our model. Here is test building. Let me I will import it. Here is the test building, and we will place somewhere here. But it's not actually right because as you as I said before, we have some location of that. Let me will select it and as you can see, we have the position. As you can see, it's different. Let's say zero and, and zero. And now it's exactly on this point. And as you can see, the gimbal in Lumen exactly have the same position like in like in Revit. So we did it. So now we need to place our our rooms. We shouldn't have the same gimbal. The problem is why? Because we will rotate it. We will rotate it by uh, by center point. So it means if we will save this gimbal here, uh, we will rotate it like this. You will see. For example, here is your gimbal. Uh, here is your point. And if here is your point and your building, its room is here, you will rotate it not like this. You will rotate like this. So this is wrong. So what we're gonna do? Let's unhide everything, like reset temporary. I will select only this building for now, and I will isolate it. As simple as that, as you can see. Now I will go to the top view. Now I wanna see where is the my uh, this point, as you can see it here. I will select it, and I will move my center point exactly here. No worries about the intersection because we are not caring about that. Let me I see. Oh, I moved that group. Let me I will move this group. We have, as you know, we have the two groups. Where's the middle point here? I will place it here. As you can see, I'm changing only the, I'm not changing the height. I'm changing only the position x, y. 
so it will help us you will see let me i will unhide everything and i have here the my building let me i will export it i will export it and i will call it like test room test room it's already export so let me will go back to the uh, revit or to the lumen uh, import the model and here's the test room let me import it test room is here let's import it and my building somewhere here my room is here so what we're gonna do next next i will select this room let me will select it after that i'm going back again to the position as you can see here the position zero and if you will say here is the position zero you will get exactly the same height so now you need only use this one move horizontal one because it will help you place it directly where you want for example it will be here yeah it will be like this as you can see we already place it let me I will change uh, the my sun because it's uh, not on the right side where is the direction oh it's one direction the sun it will be better it will be going from this way you say it this way okay so as you can see now we place it and why we did it why it's uh, you will say why it's so hard to, to create it now if you will use rotate rotation it's exactly on the center of our room and now we can easily just rotate it here as you can see if you will save this position we will rotate uh, around this point not uh, uh, around the middle one in, around the center one so now we are going to the back now to the movie uh, movie creation and i will show you how you can animate it let me go back now to the movie here is the movie let's create the record and let's place some camera somewhere here so we are not about uh, now uh, how it looks like we are now only about animation so let me will create the add camera frame and as you can see uh, let me will do some interesting here is the camera and here let me will just make it a bit up like this so now we get the some result like this so no, nothing special as you can see so we did it as you can see it's five seconds let's say okay and now we should get uh, we should uh, create our uh, effect let's go to the add animation and here the animation and we should use the advanced move let's use the advanced move and now we will go to the edit mode let's use the edit mode and now you should select the object which you wanna animate and as you can see this is really nice for us because we separated our buildings the static one it will be static we not will do anything with that but this is the room we able to change let's select it and now uh, the Lumion waiting us which type of the uh, animation of the moving better to say uh, we will use for example our moving will start from this position and I wanna move only this room let me I will select this room let me I will select the rotation and here is the point of the my room and let's I will rotate it for example here is the will be like this and somewhere here it will be rotate on the 90 degree like this so what we get as you can see it's rotating let's say ok and let's play it it's rotating but it's kind of fast so this is some tricky thing uh, which is I wanna show you why it's um, rotating really fast and why it's going really fast so by, uh, to change it you should go to the uh, render uh, to the edit clip and here's the seconds let me change for to the for example 15 seconds so we change it let's say okay but the result it's really weird as you can see it's just looping our animation it's looping how we can uh, fix it you should go back now to the again to the edit and here the small button as you can see five second we as you know we have now 15 seconds let me I'll change to the 15 here now 15 so the starting from the zero end it's 15 and now let's change our rotation I will select it and you can see it here our final rotation let me I will delete it and we will change the position for example till here 
and we will rotate it to 90 degree. Let's say OK. And let's check it right, right now. As you can see, now it's uh, much slower rotation and the clip is much longer than before. Let me play it one more time. And as you can see, our camera going up a bit slower, much slower. And our rotation of the building also, also the much slower. So this is just small trick I want to mention because uh, I think most of the people asking this thing. Uh, if you will go back to the edit clip, also you can erase this move because some people don't like it. I also don't like it actually better to make it linear. Now it's going much linear. It's not starting from the slow and just uh, uh, high speeding uh, till the uh, your clip going. Okay, that's it. So now you can able to render it and that's it. Just render it and you will get the uh, my final result, which is you already see on the start this video. So if you like this is small tricks, if you want to see the much more the these small tricks uh, in other video, just let me know below the comments. I will try to make it much much more. For now it's finished. This small uh, small tutorial as I said before, it's final it's finished. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.